Hey tennis fans, welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. Today we're taking a look at the Head Graphene Touch Instinct Adaptive. The Instinct Adaptive is a unique racket. It allows the end user to customize the string pattern, weight, length, and balance of the frame with no tools. With interchangeable grommets, spacers for lengthening the frame, and a heavier butt cap, the customizability of this racket is a tinkerer's dream. Also new for the Instinct family of rackets is the addition of Head's next generation of graphene called Graphene Touch. The new construction of the material gives the racket a natural dampening property that still feels solid on contact, but doesn't transmit as many vibrations back to the player's arm. New technology is not the only update that has been given to the Instincts. A cosmetic update to the Instinct family gives these rackets a new classic look. Hey guys, I'm here with Jeannie and Ryan. We're talking about the Instinct Adaptive. Uh, this is one of uh, currently Head's two adaptive rackets, the Instinct and the Speed. Um, this one we play with the heavy grommets, the 16 by 19 heavy grommets in one spacer in the grip. This one's always been interesting because we toyed with the idea before we did this playtest, should we put all the spacers in there, none of the spacers in there, uh, heavy grommets, 16 by 16 grommets. That'll be in a different video, how to use the adaptive tuning kits. We ended up choosing to go with the heavy grommets in one spacer just to give us that little bit extra torsional stability and a little bit more reach on the ball. Obviously, it's got some tuning options for us, so obviously each person can tune it specifically to their individual needs, which I think is really cool. Um, the only downside to it is to change the string pattern or the grommets, you have to restring the racket. Um, if you want to lengthen or shorten the racket, you just unwrap the grip. It's super simple. Overall, I think this one, how we had it set up, we were getting a lot of spin with it. The power was there because we got that extra weight. Very forgiving. The Instinct line, I was very impressed with versus the last generation. I think the last generation with the XT, Gra Graphene XT, was lacking. Mm -hmm. Just something. Um, this filled in whatever I was missing. It's more comfortable. It's just a lot better to play with. The spin's there on, on the rackets. The power is there on the rackets. It's, it's all there for out throughout the family, which I thought there was just something missing from everything from last generation. For me, the uh, the adaptiveness, being able to change the grommets, that was probably the coolest part. Um, for this one, I did like the 1619 the best, um, as well with a little bit heavier grommets. You're able to get some, some swing speed on the ball, uh, being able to, you know, if you got pushed back a little bit, you're able to still get the ball back into play. Uh, I also really liked the volleys. That was probably the most crisp for me. Um, overall, it was a very surprisingly comfortable racket to play with. To me, I enjoyed the fact that they modify a little bit of what they were doing before, and also you can customize it to your taste. So for me, at first it was a little bit tricky, but once you kind of get the hang of it, you kind of, you know, it gives you a little bit more, you kind of get the feel of it. And then after that, it just became a little bit more, if I wanted to hit flat, it was just great hitting flat. If I wanted to do some spin a little bit, it was great. And on my slice too, it was very steady uh, once I hit those slides. Sometimes your slides go up, but at this point, with this racket, it offered a little bit more uh, better control going forward with the ball and things like that. Yeah, yeah this one's off the uh, the MP, has a similar specs if you just leave this bone stock. It's got a really great blend of, of spin potential, power, and control. Um, this one, you know, with the extra grommets weight on there, I think is nice because, you know, I, don't, I personally don't like lead all over my rackets. Um, so this was nice being able to weight in the racket. Um, and have it integral into the racket. So overall, great racket. If you're looking, if you're one of those tinkering kind of tennis players, this is something you should definitely check out and, and, and look into it. Thanks for tuning into our Tennis Express Racket Review. We'd like to thank our friends at Westheimer Indoor Tennis for letting us use their courts. Be sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with all the latest news here at Tennis Express.